Good morning, it's Monday, August 22nd. Welcome to Top Story. Click the like and subscribe button below, then head over to our full World Watch show to check out stories like, what time is it? When an elephant has to go to the dentist. And in Russia, a big award for big families. Now, this is Top Story. Professional sports continue to raise the roof, money-wise. Basketball phenom LeBron James is now the highest paid player in NBA history. Last week, signing a two-year contract with the Los Angeles Lakers worth $97 million. And ka-ching, the NFL has given final approval to the sale of the Denver Broncos for $4.6 billion. The main buyer is Rob Walton, heir to the Walmart fortune. The price tag for the 2016 Super Bowl champions doubled the highest paid for any sports franchise. The New York Mets are still $2 billion behind, valued at $2.4 billion. But that's a bit more money than teams went for a century ago. The NFL's oldest team, the Green Bay Packers, they were bought for $50 in 1919. The next year, the Chicago Bears doubled that, selling for $100. And price tags have increased exponentially since then. By the 1990s, teams were selling for hundreds of thousands, and by the early 2000s, they fetched hundreds of millions. Sports franchises are coveted investments, and the NFL's unique profit-sharing structure is attractive. The Broncos' new ownership group includes Formula One racer Lewis Hamilton and former Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice. Oh, and back to LeBron James, he's part owner of a team also, the Boston Red Sox. And with his fat new paycheck, we think one purchase that could do LeBron some good would be a World Watch subscription. Make sure to check out the full set of worldwatch.news. You can try out the show free for a week. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I'm the Big Bash. Remember, whatever the news, the purpose of the Lord will stand.